Hello, have you ever wanted to switch between two operating systems without having to restart every time and use a bootloader? Well, the, the solution is a thing called Oracle VirtualBox. And here's how you use it. First, we have to go download it. So open your favorite web browser. Hit that load. Mm hmm And now, all right. So, so you go up here. So go to Google and type in Oracle Virtual Box. Click on the first um, result. It'll take you to this page. Then you go over here to downloads. And then if you're running a Windows machine, you click that link. If you're running a Mac, click that one. If you're using a Linux, use that one. And if you're using Solaris, you click that one. I'm running Windows, so I'll click that. You have to save the binary file. Now it'll take a little while. But luckily, I already have it installed, so I get to cancel it. Normally, you wouldn't want to cancel it because you want to download it, actually. But I can just go over here to Oracle DM Virtual Box. Okay, you'll get oh. uh, you'll get this change color scheme to Windows Basic. You want to do that because Oracle because running an operating system inside an operating system takes a lot of me of memory. I mean, it takes a lot of computer power. So you want to do that because so you want to change it to Basic temporarily. Because it kind of, because basic uses less uh, computer power. All right, so we go up here to new, right there. Click new, and follow the on screen instructions. So we go next, and now we name our box. I'm gonna call this one oh, Open Susie. And since I typed in Open Suzy, I put the keywords Open Suzy in, so it already gave me, so I already put in OS type Linux and Open Suzy, so I get to skip that. You put how much bandwidth you want. This is usually enough. I mean, not bandwidth. How much memory you want. So use that. Create a new virtual hard disk. And now this will, this is the wizard to make a new virtual hard disk. Dynamically expanding storage is usually a good idea. Location, open Suzy, that big, looks good. Finish. And now we finish making the virtual machine. All right, so this is the list of all of your virtual machines. So you select the one that you want to use and hit start. You can ignore that. This is the first run wizard, so we have to go to next, and um, you'll have to download. Um, you have to download the um, operating system from uh, the certain website like OpenTuzi.com, Ubuntu.com, whatever operating system you're selling, or if you have a Windows disk, you can just insert that at this time. But I have the thing. I have the operating system downloaded, so you click this little folder. Go over here and find it. In my downloads. It's in this folder, open Suzy. And there it is. 
Now we hit next, finish, and it will be that. And now you just install OpenSUSE the way you would normally. And that is how you use Oracle VirtualBox. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. Bye. Yeah, you have to close this. Whoops. All right. And then we'll, sorry, I forgot to put this one part in. See. Eh. Yeah, because um, once you open your virtual box, it will capture your mouse so you can't use it anymore until you get out, which is kind of annoying. But you can do halt system now, turn it off. It's powered off. You can close and you can go on with your life. All right. Thank you. Bye.